Hello everyone, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. Um, just want to come in here real quick and just show you guys something, but also talk about why we need to really just be vigilant in these final moments, you know. Um, God warned us, you know, ahead of time in His words concerning the time we're living in. And obviously there's much deception out there and there's much truth also, okay. Uh, but before I dive into what I need to talk about, I need you guys to understand something first, you know. The tribulation is coming. Jesus is coming to remove the church before judgment begins upon the whole earth. Not just America, the whole earth, okay? Um, and if you're not paying attention or think everything's going to go back to normal, I'm sorry, but you're really delusional. There's nothing. There's no going back. Um, sadly, you know, regardless of how much truth that's out there, there are many whose job is to sow misinformation and false information and also to discredit the truth because they don't want the truth to stand. You know, the reason why they don't want it to stand is because they want the Antichrist to take over. That is the whole agenda. And I'm sorry, it's going to keep going that way. Um, the truth will not stand, sadly, in this society. Um, but one thing that will always stand is the Word of God. Jesus, no one can, you know, defeat Him, okay? He is already victorious, okay? He would have won the battle. But right now we are living through the time, okay, of everything that's transpiring. And it has to happen the way it should for the Antichrist to come in play, okay? So just because, you know, we see this doesn't mean, you know, it hasn't repeated. You know, during the time of Jesus, um, when he was taken, you know, he foreknew already, you know. If you read John 19, or actually John 18 and John 19, you will see he already knew, but yet... Things has to come to pass, okay? He foreknew what's going to happen anyway, but it has to happen the way it should, you know what I mean, for me, the mission to be accomplished, okay? So he's not going to stop it, you know, just like when Peter drew his sword and cut the ear of the, you know, um, one of the, you know, the guards, right? Well, Jesus told him to put his sword back in his sheet, okay, and then healed the God's ear. And pretty much was telling him, should I not, you know, you know, um, um, pretty much telling him, don't, you know, don't you know I have to drink the cup, this, you know, cup of wrath, okay? Don't you understand that, Peter? As in, he already knew this has to happen. You know what I mean? It has to happen. He's not going to change it because it's already declared it's done. You see, when it comes to God, God doesn't play current tense. God operates in past tense because everything already happened. We got everything already done. We're just living through the present and the future. But God already did everything in the past, if that makes any sense. means he doesn't have to think, oh, what's going to happen in the future? Because everything already happened. We're just living through the fruition of it. But he already saw the end already. Okay? So everything already took place. You know, in God's perspective. He already saw everything from beginning to end. Right now, we're just living through it. Okay? And sadly, it is frustrating. But I want you to have this in mind. Everything that's happened already happened. Okay? We are just living through the timeline for it to come to fruition, but it already took place. There is absolutely nothing you can do to stop what's coming, okay? The Antichrist is going to be revealed once the church is raptured. That means the rapture of the church is imminent, regardless of what you say. We are just living through the timeline. Keep that in mind. Now, for those who are not saved, you are going to be here, okay, for the tribulation, what do I mean by that? If you have rejected the gospel of Jesus Christ, that is your 
only saving grace you have, okay? Now, you say, well, why would God, you know, you know, punish people, blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something. I suggest you go read the book of John. Verbatim, just read it and truly see what took place there. Then you will understand why God's judgment. I mean, you have zero excuse why you should be here for the tribulation. Zero. Because God has done so much, suffered through tremendous pain, okay, for all our sakes, okay? Jesus did all of that out of love. He could have stepped down from that cross. He could have said, now forget this. When the chief priest, you know, Caiaphas, you know, and the rest of the Pharisees were talking trash. And I mean, he could have just been like, you know what? You know what? You know, you know, I'm done. That's it. You know, all y'all going straight to hell after that. That's it. I'm done. But he didn't. He went on. They slapped him. They hit him. Okay. And he allowed them to do all that. Okay. He was beaten beyond recognition. The book of Isaiah tells us that we couldn't recognize and there was no beauty found in him. None. That's how much people couldn't recognize who he was. That's how much bruises he, he, he took for us. Okay? And he just kept going. And by the way, they didn't just come and take him. He offered himself. He gave himself willingly for us. So people can't come and say, oh, well, you know, you know, they're persecuted. No. He went willingly for you and for me because you couldn't save yourself. I couldn't save myself. So he went on that cross for our own sake so he could save us and pay for our sin debts. Okay? All of it. Past, present, and future. So it cost him everything to purchase you and me. So if you reject the gospel, then you deserve to be in the tribulation. That's right. There's no excuse for you at all. I'm sorry. Okay? It is heart-wrenching when you truly come to read and understand what Jesus went through for you and how you can just blatantly reject him and then expect to just, you know, coast through and not go through tribulation. Sorry. No. You reject him, you are stuck here and dealing with the judgment of God. And he, he made it very clear. It is going to be the worst time in human history. And there has never been a time like it. So that means it will make Noah's flood look like a joke. It will make Sodom and Gomorrah look like a joke. It will make the 10 plague look like a joke. What's coming? That seven years is going to be terrible. Okay? Terrible. I've had a glimpse of a tribulation dream. And it was terrifying. When I say terrifying, like you couldn't sleep peacefully during the tribulation because you were on a survival mode constantly. And not only that, you got demons too that are completely going berserk. The evil and the wickedness on this earth, you, you haven't seen anything yet, okay? You see, the reason why everything is kind of a little bit on a... Um, toned down for us is because the church is still here. The Holy Spirit is restraining. Once the church is removed, the Holy Spirit stops restraining. It is fair game. And Satan will capitalize. The demons will literally, they've been itching for the longest, you know what I'm saying, to just get their hands on you. You think they love you? You think Satan loves you? For all you Satanists? You're going to be in for a shock. Okay? You're going to find out how much he hates you soon enough. But, you don't have to be here. All you have to do is trust and believe in the gospel. Okay? The gospel can be found in 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 through 4. And that is that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead. The death, the burial, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Okay? You must trust and believe in him. And you got to believe in his finished redemptive work on the cross of Calvary. For the forgiveness of your sins, past, present, and future. You have to trust and believe that everything that Jesus did, he did for you. Because he loves you that much. Just come to him. Call on him. Admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. Believe this gospel that I just shared and call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will save you. Call on him today. Don't wait. Okay? Now we know 
um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all the social media, they pretty much have taken down the video of the doctor, which got over 17 million views. They took it down, okay? And now they're showing misinformation, trying to say, oh, she believes in demon sperms and other stuff. Again, do you see what they do? When you bring up truth, they, they, they will remove the truth and then sow lies so people can, people who are not, you know, uh, willing to hear the truth will say, yeah, I knew something was wrong with that lady. But did you know that what she's saying, she's not the first person. Italy, France, there's many doctors who have said the exact same thing and they got shut down. They've been under attack. Why do you think so? I mean, duh, if, if Bill Gates is dumping all them billions of dollars into this vaccine to 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 bring in the antiquary system, you think they're going to just sit back and let you, you know, you know, you know, mess that up? Fauci invested his money into that. Come on, people, let's be real. But I don't want to put the video there because I know they're going to take it down. OK, but I am going to show you guys something else, though, real quick. So this is, yeah, I'm not going to play that one because if I play it, they're going to take it down. So that's why I was kind of Hi, talking for a while. I'm Dr. James Thera. I just want to add a couple comments to what Dr. Gold was saying. If it, if it seems like there is an orchestrated attack that's going on against hydroxychloroquine, it's because there is. When have you ever heard of a medication generating this degree of controversy? A 65-year-old medication that has been in the World Health Organization's safe essential list of medications for years okay it's over the counter in many countries and what we're seeing is a lot of misinformation so i, I co-authored the first document on hydroxychloroquine uh, as a potential treatment for coronavirus this is back in march and that kind of kicked off a whole series of of a storm on it and since then there's been a tremendous amount of censorship on doctors here. like us and what we're saying and, and a number of us have already been censored that google document that i co-authored was actually pulled down by google and this is after now many studies have shown that it is effective and it is safe. You still can't read that article. And there's also this misinformation out there. And unfortunately, this has reached the, the highest orders of medicine. Um, in May, there was a, an article published in The Lancet. So this is one of the world's most prestigious medical journals in the world. Okay, The World Health Organization stopped all their clinical trials on hydroxychloroquine because of this study. And it was independent researchers like us who care about patients, who care about the truth, that dug into the study and determined that it was actually fabricated data. The data was not real. And it was so, we did this so convincingly that this study was retracted by The Lancet less than two weeks after it was published. This is almost unheard of, especially for a study of this magnitude. So it's, you know, I apologize to, to everyone for the fact that there is so much misinformation out there and it's so hard to find the truth. And unfortunately, it's going to take looking in other places for, for the truth. All right. That's that. Now, again, I want to show you another video, another one minute video. This one, I hate this Russian stuff, but anyway, peep this. Now, this is just sad. It's a side we're living today, okay? Then I'm going to give you guys scripture, then I'm done. I just need to talk first for a minute. That way, in case YouTube is, you know, listening on my video, whatever. They will get bored enough to get off since they don't believe in, in Christianity anyway, you know, so they don't have to take this video down. So hopefully this little clip I put here will not pop up in any way thumbnail so they don't take down my video. But this is the foolishness that's going on. is so sad all right let's go to scripture all right second Timothy three this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of, of their own selves covetous boasters proud blasphemous disobedient to parents unthankful unholy 
without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good, traitors, reckless, conceited, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. All right, so I just wanted to read this for you guys. Keep your faith and know that whatever is going on right now, God already knew this. It has to happen this way. Sadly, we are living through it and it is frustrating for us, but it has to happen because, you know, <laughs> again, the rapture has to take place, but there's things that have to happen before the Antichrist shows up. And we know if we see the day approaching for the tribulation to a core, that means the rapture is even closer than that. Okay? So all this incident that's taking place right now, that's okay. It is happening and it will continue to happen. They're going to keep discrediting people. They're going to keep shutting down videos. They, I mean, the persecution is real. Okay, big tech companies, they're going to keep censoring people nonstop because they don't want you to know the truth. That's why I have a feeling when the rapture happens, I don't know if any Christian YouTube channels are going to stay up for long or, or Facebook, Instagram. And I believe Mark Zuckerberg purchased Instagram. This is why if you have Instagram, if you notice on the setting, it tells you to link your Facebook to your Instagram. Okay. Um, yeah, I think a while ago he did. So, um, yeah. So if they're going to block every single conservative channel that I'm subscribed to, they literally blocked those videos and took it down. Every single one of them, every single one of them. And they got like tons and tons of views and they took it down quick. Okay. So now this one is another one that, um, where is it? Okay. This one is another one over here. I'm not going to play that one. This one right here from DC Drano. I have the video saved. That's another one that was done today. They actually went and re-recorded it again because they said the doctors was like, you're not going to shut us up this time, you know. They are fighting back to bring the truth to people despite, you know, the, them being censored, okay. Because, again, there is a cure, okay, and they know it. But these people don't want it because they're telling you there's no cure, people, because they want the death rate to keep going up. That's why they're falsifying death records, you know, so that they have a reason to shut down things, which is exactly what they want. All this is to bring anarchy the leftists in and also to remove Trump from office. That's all they want. That's all they want, you know. If it takes burning down the country to do it, that's what they're going to do, okay? So, but as believers... We are not to be too concerned about this. We just have to keep praying, okay, and, and just keep trusting God through it all. Because we know this is not our home anyway. Burn it down for all I care. We're going to be gone, you know. I mean, God is going to bring judgment anyway. So it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of buildings going down anyway. So, you know, it's ma major destruction is coming. So it makes no difference what they do right now, you know. But keep the faith, people. And keep your eyes on Jesus, you know. Don't fall for the deceptions of, you know, oh, she's lying or that person. No. Anything apart from that, they're lying to you. Anything that they're trying to, that's, remember this, they're not your friend. It's the same people, which is the globalists that own these media companies. Therefore, they are going to support their own people, okay? And their own people is there to sow this information, and that's what we're going to keep doing. So, Listen to the people who actually are in the field, you know what I'm saying, frontliners, you know, that are doing this testing and actually proving that it works. But because there's money involved, okay, <laughs> they ain't going to let that fly. I mean, let's hope these doctors stay alive long enough. Because normally, you know, remember, um, I can't remember the name of the person anyway, found a cure for AIDS, got killed, cure for cancer, got killed. They tell you, oh, no, you, you have to keep doing this because they shut you down because it's, it's, it's too much money tied into this stuff, you know. The corruption is real, y'all. But God will bring recompense. Relax. Jesus. Oh, man. Oh, judgment is coming, and I can't wait for us to be taken out of here for this judgment to come. 
It is so long overdue. But God is very loving and patient, so therefore, he don't want none to perish. That's why he's keep giving you guys multiple opportunities to get saved. Okay? Do that today. Trust Jesus Christ. He is the only way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. John 14, 6. You can't get saved any other way. There is no other way to heaven except through Jesus Christ alone. And we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Faith plus nothing equals salvation and eternal security. 100% natural. Anyway, as always, this is the truth. Love you guys and have a blessed day. Peace.